Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's Altrix weekly challenge, we are going to solve problem number 19. So without wasting too much time, let's get started. So the problem that we have is use case. Customer has hundreds of XLS files with one common sheet available in all the workbooks. Through one process, the user would like to read across all the XLS files and return the values contained in the specific cells, row 2, column 3 and row 8, column 2 from sheet 1 in each XLS workbook. The result should be a table or browse tool containing three columns, XLS file, row 2, underscore column 3 row 8 column 2 you will have two xls files as an input for this exercise book 1 and book 2 the sheet you have should the sheet you should use is called sheet 1 for all the data consumption please check the box for first row row contains data so we just need to tick this box first row contains data so we need to use basically input tool Let's try it over here. Then select the book one and book two file, which I have already downloaded in this folder. So here, uh, as we need to import both the files with just one tool, I am going to use wildcard over here. So basically what we need to do is remove this book and input as star star dot star dot xls or you can simply go uh, do this as book dot xls and that's what just fine and also they have asked us to check this box first row contains data And here I am going to select file name only. So when we are done with the data, we will have this header with us. To get the row number, I am going to use multi row formula. Let's check it out. Where is it? In preparation, multi row formula. Why? Because first I am trying to locate the rows. You can see the rows has given as follow row 2, row 8. So I am going to give this field name as a row and going to insert conditional formula like uh, if my active row or file name or, or if my current file name is equal to exactly match with my previous file name then row minus one plus one else just input the number one and if so basically this will give me number one and two so let's run the workflow So as you can see that we got this file name and a row number in sequence. Now what we need to do is we need to locate the data which is in row 2 column 3. Row 2 column 3 that is F3 that is 47. So I think uh, we should use the formula too. Now, as they have said, uh, we have to rename this as row 2 or name it as row 2, row 2, column 3. So let's rename it. Give the name as row 2 underscore column 3. Then, as we said, if uh, row 2 is 
there then what we need to select is value from column 3 so our column 3 is nothing but f3 else that value if it is not there then value should be null and if uh, once that is done complete the formula as you can see that we are getting this null I am going to uh, as it is numeric value I am going to seek, uh, select as uh, integer 64 same goes for next value that is row 8 column 2 again the same formula if I will be just changing the number if row 8 then uh, we need to select the value from column 2 so let's change the data type and on the workflow so you can see that we get this value and uh, apart from given the input like uh, apart from uh, row 2 whatever that uh, value we have it is becoming null so I am going to use summarize tool so I can get this uh, required value so I am going to group by this file by file name because this is what they have given xls file so group by I am going to rename it xls file then I am going to use uh, our desired column by max so that we, we will just get the highest value and whatever the null values it will be eliminated so I don't need this max so I am going to remove it same goes for next column add by max and I am going to remove the max and let's try to locate the C if it is matching our, with our output run let's check with our output so our values are uh, not matching it's a bit different so we will we need to go back and check what is wrong with our formula so let's check it out in formula 2 let me see first if we have checked the first in uh, first first row contains data that is correct then row formula if that is also correct then let me check the formula tool here you, we can see that uh, I, I think I have inputted the incorrect number and same goes for this hex number. Let me rerun the workflow and check it. Forty-seven ninety-four thirty sixty. Yes, our data is exactly matching and that's how it is you can use different tools and techniques to get the same result though so feel free feel free to ask your question or doubt in the comment section thanks for watching my video